Good evening, a warm welcome to a brand new week with State of Business, RTV's Prime Time Business News Bulletin, and I'm Rukshi Pandita Ratna. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Special Presidential Commission of Inquiry to probe Central Bank bond issue. And internal and external investigations underway to examine EPF transactions on government securities. And today on Top Stories, President Maitripala Sirisen has instructed Attorney General to appoint a Presidential Commission of Inquiry to probe the alleged central bank bond scandal and take necessary legal actions based on the findings of the probe. The three-member presidential commission will include a Supreme Court judge, a High Court judge and an audit expert. The president's media division said that the Gazette notification on the appointment of the presidential commission of inquiry will be issued this week. The Commission will finalize its report including recommendations within three months. President has urged all the stakeholders to extend necessary support to ensure Commission's work is successful. The leader of the Janata Vimukti Peramuna expressed views on the appointment of a Presidential Commission of Inquiry to probe the CBSL bond issue at a media conference in Bataramulla today. Venerable Kenya Wala Pali Tathera has moved a FR petition in the Supreme Court challenging the COPE report on the central bank bond controversy. The bond controversy will be debated in Parliament tomorrow and the debate will start at 10.30 a.m. Meanwhile, UPFA MP Vasudeva Nanakara and JVP leader Anura Kumara Disanayaka expressed views on this FR petition at separate media briefings today. Then make it Tavat Aramunatian Vakilapi Sakarno, Heta, Viva the Arambeno got a Badum Karegane, Kauru in Agino extra Dadika Baksha Patting, Tant Agamatima in the Puluang, make it an Adikarni Driati and a Prasniak, Enisa, Parliament to Vivadan Okali to Ikel, Namotego and Podivardi Matieno. Sresta the Karni Dri, Farna Duatieni, a Farna Duan at the Murikati was come Nadu, Driata can amateur. Sesetadikarnya, the Central Bank today issued a statement on the measures taken by the Monetary Board with respect to the Employees Provident Fund. The statement said that an internal examination is currently underway under the direction of the Monetary Board on transactions of the EPF in government securities during 2015 and 2016. The law enforcement authorities have also been requested to carry out an external independent investigation into the issuance of government securities in 2015 and 2016 and related matters. The external investigation involves examining internal operations carried out by the staff of the Central Bank. The Central Bank said the Monetary Board has taken several measures with regard to the operations of the EPF during the past six months to strengthen the decision-making process with respect to investments. The Central Bank added those initiatives will safeguard the interests of the members of the EPF. See you after this break. Welcome back. The Diploma in Public Procurement and Contract Administration was launched at the Miloda Academy of Financial Studies in Colombo today. Miloda is the training arm of the Ministry of Finance. Minister Ravi Karunanayaka also graced the launching ceremony. If we go the same old way, we'll end up like some of the African countries that basically have a term and into the corruption there. When the President, Prime Minister, Finance Minister and all of us are keen to eradicate, then who is permitting that to go on? Don't only blame the politicians. The public servants are even more guilty after certain things that are there. 
the high officials, sometimes they seal behind these facts. And I guess it's time that you open this up. The Procurement Commission and the Procurement Appeal Boards need the radical change. They were brought in only just two years ago, but they are sub-optimized. Sometimes the Commission themselves don't have the professionalism that is there, and that discharges a long delay in giving certain decisions that are there. The first annual general meeting and get-together of the Alumni Association of Faculty of Management Studies and Commerce of the University of Sri Java Dhanapura was held in Colombo recently. During the event, they also launched their official website. It was disclosed here that the Alumni Association was established to enhance the interaction amongst the past students and the faculty. The association will also support the faculty to further improve its academic excellence. Javadanapur is a Kalamana Karna, Havanid with the Peter, Aurdu Panahakata, Vada Vedicalek Parani, Aurdu Panahakata Vedicalek Sitter, Upadidarin, Hatta the Hakata Asana Sankavak, Pratam Upadarin, Evagam Pasha to Pardarin, Kotasak Diploma Darin, Abyantara, Bahir Upadarin was saying. विविध कोटासोल के बदले वेंकर हम उपाध्याय इन हैटा दाहक की तरह भी कर पु पीटे। Let's take a look at the stocks after this break. Welcome back. The trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange ended in negative note today, with both indices recording losses. Price losses recorded in counters such as John Keels Holdings, Ceylon Coal Stores, and Trans Asia Hotels. High net worth and institutional investor participation was witnessed in John Keels Holdings, Access Engineering, Chevron Lubricants, Cargill's, Commercial Bank, Dialoga Seattle and Melster Corp. The All Share Price Index dropped 7.52 points to close at 6,162.05 and S&P SL20 Index dipped 7.96 points to close the session at 3,500.44. The turnover was 661 million rupees and 20 million shares were traded. Meanwhile, foreigners remained active, closing as net sellers mainly due to foreign selling in John Kills Holdings. Total foreign sales accounted for 59 0.9% of turnover. Let's take a look at the day's forex rates. Thank you for watching State of Business. See you tomorrow at the same time. Till then, take care. Good night.